Jerry? Huh? Oh, 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 morning, Candy. Up and at him as usual, Jerry. <laughs> Where'd you get the energy from? No rest for the wicked. Damn, here comes trouble. Candy, Candy. It's okay. That derelict you like, you uh, still want it? What? Now? We gotta hurry. Damn, I'm gonna get coffee. I'm gonna go gas up and I'm gonna go around and get you. Morning to you too, Hank. How you doing, Jerry? As Rene Descartes would say, I drink, therefore I am. And I am vertical. Uh, see you later. Hank, always in a hurry. Makes me tired just watching. He's got a cute butt when he runs. You're interested, huh? Not exactly. He's <laughs> just a friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not like that, Jerry. Hey, is your power line working? Mine went funny last night for about five minutes. Mine went out for 10 minutes last night. I thought I hadn't paid the bill. <sighs> well, I look a mess. I better go get ready. See ya. Over there to the pass where that derelict is. <laughs> I gotta make a couple stops first. Candy's interesting, huh? <laughs> nah, don't go there, Jerry. Don't start no rumors. <laughs> hey, I'm a bartender, not a matchmaker. Hey, I heard uh, Quint's boat ran aground the other day. Really? When? Uh, not sure. <sighs> Candy, let's go. Ready, let's go. Thanks, Gary. Have fun, you kids. Thank you, Thanks, Jerry. Thanks, Gary. Come on back here, sit right here if you want. All right, hold on. Good morning, Jerry. Good morning. Morning, is that all you have to say? I'm acknowledging that it's morning. Um, I'll decide if it's good later. Well, you better hurry up, sleepyhead. It's almost nine o'clock. Had a long night last night. I've already been up since this morning counting the manatees. Oh, 
Oh, is that all you have to say? Uh, look, I'm a little grumpy unless I've had a couple cups of coffee. Uh, uh, would, uh, would you, can I offer you a cup? Permission to come on board? Uh, granted. <laughs> uh, come on down. Watch your step. I've only got non-dairy creamer. Um, a sugar? Just need the coffee. Can you believe the death toll of the manatees last year? Uh, how many? There's a lot. Take a guess. I don't know, a hundred? Be serious. I don't know, 200. Um, you don't take me seriously. I do. Don't. I, I do. Uh, look, I withdraw this one as a philosophy professor. Uh, we always had petitions being circulated. There were teach-ins, rallies. Do you realize that hundreds and thousands of puffer, angel, and ladyfish have died just because the water went below 50 degrees? The sea turtles went into shock and had to be rescued so that we can release them back into warmer water. Gosh, I, I didn't realize that. I don't know much about fish. You don't take me seriously. I do, Terry. Uh, no, you don't take anything of, that I say seriously. You of all people, you're educated. You should realize what I'm talking about. If we don't do something soon, then the manatees will be die. And we can kiss this way of life goodbye, just forever. I'll think about it. Well, don't think too long. I don't think the manatees will be able to hold out much longer. <sighs> well, well, how can I help? You can volunteer your time, donate some money. Hey, we could work together. Hmm, um, how about if I write you a check for 20 bucks and you can eat at the bar Terry, for free on just Fridays? you take any issues seriously, do you? Well, I do, Terry. As the great philosopher Aristotle- For laugh, so first, just don't cut it. Look, um, that's not true. I mean, Descartes was a man of the people. Now, someone like Jacques Cousteau, who lived his philosophies, he helped so many things and influenced so many people. And that lady who was brought in by the Vanderbilts to run Moat Marine Laboratory, well, she made a difference in the very waters that we're sitting in. Um, uh, oh gosh, look at the time. I gotta go. Oh! <laughs> What's with them? Oh, they're derelicts. They're liveaboards. Since the group are banned, they're just, they're everywhere. I never knew so many lived out here. Thought it was just a smattering. There's more and more every day. You just feel so free, living on the water. Well, some people think the authorities try to take that away. It just doesn't make my job any easier. Terry! Yeah, me. Why are you up so early? Early? I haven't gone to bed yet. The fish counts down again. Oh, really? That's a bummer. What's that mean exactly? I explained it to you the other night. I know, but I forget. It means that thousands of fish are dying, and the manatees are being affected, and the sea turtles. It's just too cold for them. Oh, it's been a bit chilly, yeah, but you know, I mean, they're, they're tough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we gotta do something. We're not gonna be able to live here anymore. It's gonna be horrible. That's a total bummer. It's too early in the morning for that, you know, Terry. I've got to go to bed, you know. Yeah, well, this is really important. I know it's important, love, but I mean, yeah, there's fish out. I can see them. Morning, Andy. Hi, Terry. Hey, guys. Fish of the day is grouper. Well, you better hurry because they'll be extinct soon. I well, can't be extinct. That's my favorite, Jerry. Hey! See it, Terry. Andy! You son of a bitch, you in there? Oh, man. What's the bloody time? Who the heck's that anyway? Oh. It's me, quit, you lazy has-been. Oh, go away. Come back later. I only just got back to sleep. Open up, you lazy bum! Oh, God, you're a pest. Hang on. Oh. 
Hang on. Oh! Take one. Yeah. Catch. Ah! Brits don't know how to throw. Get out of here. I was a professional pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Yeah. Oh, mate. Come on. Here we are. Start the session then. <clears throat> All right. I hope you brought enough. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Couple should do it. Doesn't. Cheers, you limey Brit. Up yours. Breakfast of champions. Yeah. That's where we headed. What, in this weather? Are you joking? Yeah. Ah, it's not that bad out there. Put out any good fires lately, Fire Marshal Quint? Matter of fact, I did. One off SR-70. Mm -hmm. A couple of deputies pulled an old couple out of a burning house. Hmm. Got there before we did. Six degrees below freezing. Can you believe it here in Florida? Oh, I'm in. The old lady's oxygen caught on fire. Oh shit, did the house burn down? Pretty much wrecked. They were lucky though. Oh, by the way, how's your other business? <laughs> not too bad, got some good stuff you might like. Uh, not me, mate, I gave that up years ago. Gives you brain damage, I should know. Go on, you love it. I drop it. Hank's chasing pussy again. Oh, who now? Candy, the teacher on the sea nymph. She's beautiful. She's okay, not that hot. The boat, you prick, not the girl. I judge women as women, not boat as women, you you Brits. Women, boats, they both take all your money. I'll drink to that. Hey! <laughs> Went through a divorce myself. Yeah. Well, I couldn't believe they had The Who playing the halftime show at the Super Bowl. What do you think? Pretty good show. Good lights. Played support to them on the Quick One Tour bloody years ago. Way before I was born. Shag off. You know what, Quint? What? The uh, band. I'm going to put them back together. Go on tour again. Really? Are you crazy or just broke? Well, a bit of both, really. But um, I'm going to call it the uh, go on tour, hit the road, call it the we're still alive tour. What do you think? I think you are crazy. Hmm. You going to find the rest of the band members? Well, I think they're still alive. Um, last I heard, anyway. Hmm, don't know. Yeah, well, last I heard, I think it was last year. And, um, oh, I forget, was it last year? Um, I think they're still alive, anyway. Well, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> Too many drugs. <laughs> yeah, well, don't mention that, mate. Here, chuck us another beer, will you? That's mine. Oh, all right, be like that, I don't care. Oh, right, very nice. Very good. Here's to ill gotten gains. Up yours. <laughs> you see anything you like? Maybe. They both look good, but I think I like that one better. Are you holding on? Yeah. All right, let's go head back over there. JJ, let's go screw with him a little bit. Okay. Hey, 
Hey, JJ. What now? I take it you want to see my license and registration again? No, I'm just harassing you today to see what's happening. Oh, not, not much, pulling some traps. Catch anything at all? Yeah, it's not too bad. It's pretty good right now. Hey, how are you? Good. Hey, I got something for you, Ken. Oh, yeah? Enjoy. Aw, thank you. You're too sweet. Thanks. I'm gonna show her some derelict boats around here. She's looking at some of them, but uh, I'm gonna go over there tonight. You be over there? I might come over there tonight. Anytime. Bye, thank you. Chicago, right. Just graduated from art college. Painter? Sculptress. What can I get you? Uh, what do you want? You buying? Maybe. Corona with the lime. Coke. One Corona with lime and one Coke. Be right back. So what's new with the teaching business? Not much. You know, SOS. Same as the sheriff's business. Going up to Tallahassee with a delegation to test the FCAT, the syllabus, and the dates for testing. They want to do it at Passover, which has pissed the Jewish lobby <laughs> off. Uh-oh. You know I hate the whole FCAT thing? Yeah, I, I can't believe they had the test the day after the time change. Nobody had no sleep. Oh, that's another point to add to my list. Do you know how many kids' lives are ruined because of this? I haven't a clue. Oh, thank you. The F-cut is a bunch of crock. No child left behind? Yeah, right. Then why do we have children felling if there's no child left behind? It's such a contradiction. If something is designed to degrade the school, then the children should have no repercussions from it at all. But they do. <laughs> I don't believe that a test should determine a child's entire academic year. There are several factors that play a role in a child felling the F-cut. The child may not be feeling well that day. Maybe dealing with emotional problems. Concentration may be off due to lack of sleep. The child may be having problems at home. It just puts so much pressure on them and us as teachers. I hate it. Do you know that we have good teachers losing their jobs because of the FCAT? It just takes away so much valuable time from the classroom because everyone is FCAT, FCAT, and everyone is so stressed because you have to cover this and you have to cover that and you have to cover it to cover your ass. So a lot of teachers are so focused on coverage of material because of the pressure that's being put on them. I want to teach for absorption, but they just put so damn much pressure on us. You know what? I say F the F cat and change things back to the way they used to be. Sorry, I'm on my soapbox. Wow, I am sorry I even asked. I need to talk to Jerry. Come on, let's go. Same again? Yeah, why not? I've been out there looking for derelicts. What'd you find? All right, boys, let's get it together. It's showtime. Oh. Jeez, you two are shot. His fault, banging on my hatch in the middle of the night. 
It's nine in the morning, Andy. Two Bloody Marys, Jerry. Coming up. Uh, table two, Kristen. Got it. Two, Kristen. I don't know who sat down second. I've sprung a leak, I think. Can you come over and help me later when you're done? The bilge pump can't keep up with the water. Oh, brother. Yeah, okay. Hey, baby, I'll come over and help you. Well, I'll tell you what, it won't be okay if you sink, but I'll tell you what, everybody, we'll all go over to Terry's boat later to make sure she doesn't sink. All right, darling. Not okay, so carry on, everyone. Not too loud, Andy. Well, I'm sorry, darling, you know, it's not going to be the end of the world. Still, it's embarrassing. Oh, look, I'm just trying to help, so chill out. You're among friends. 